Hey guys, the Humble Southpaw here again with another knife from Tech Knives. And before we get into the review of this knife, uh, just a few things. All the knives I do do reviews on, I am purchasing. So there, there are several reasons I have. This will be my third Tac Knives uh, review. Is a couple things. Their price point. They are budget friendly. Um, I'm trying to stay anything between. You know, if I get it on sale between the twenty dollars and maybe seventy-five dollars, so this one is a retail value of thirty-nine ninety-five. Uh, second of all, is <clears throat> I have seen progression of their quality of the knives they're putting out, and this one is a D two steel with a micarta handle, and it also was left-handed friendly. It does have a reverse clip. And I, when I, I'll do another video later on with breaking down this knife and showing you and reversing the clip and all that. So those are the reasons I'm, I'm right now sticking with Tac knives. I've looked at other knives, uh, the Effen Grove, the Cividian, and their selection on you know reverse clips and being left-handed friendly is not there. Nothing's really caught my eye to do a review on but I definitely do want to do one of theirs so I have a comparison between you know tack knives and all that so that is the reason right now that you'll see more videos on tack knives so let's go ahead and jump into this review this is the uh, the Komodo and if you saw my short uh, I did a short quick short on this <clears throat> it is a deep drop point blade with a D2 steel with a hardness of 59 to 60. The scales are uh, micarta. Uh, it has a slight pattern, not a abrasive canvas pattern. I'm not sure if you can, uh, yeah, you can. But it definitely has a nice texture, nice pattern to it. Definitely solid built uh, scales. The overall length is three, seven and three eighths inches. Yeah, there we go. The the blade is about three and a quarter inches, and the handle is also around four and a quarter inches. So definitely a nice size knife. Uh, a little bit smaller than the other two that I reviewed. Those ran about eight inches and and about eight and a half inches. Uh, the weight on this is three point six ounces. So. <clears throat> Let me just flip it over here. Uh, the pivots are, the nice thing they did here was the pivot is a T8. The uh, scales, the screws on the scales are also T8, which is nice. Everything else has been a T8 or a T6. And of course in the small clip, in the clip the screw is a T6. So that's the only difference. They definitely beefed it up. Uh, and if you want to look here, they did a nice, uh, looks like a micarta spacer. Solid. It goes all the way around. So there's, it definitely has some rigidity to it. And I don't know if you can see inside, but they did, um, it is not a solid frame. They definitely lighten it up a little bit. So to give, I guess, the better weight. Um, Centering right out of the box is on point. Um, the locking, it's about, I would say about 20, between 25 and 30 uh, percent. It has, it's not as far over as the other two um, tack knives I did, but definitely there's no play side to side or up or down. So it definitely is locked in there, no problem. The flipper action is excellent for left-handed, easy to get to the lock bar. And of course, this is brand new, so you know, with some breaking in, everything will move out. So it is a front front flipper or a flipper with jipping. It also has a looks like a front flipper, but it's not very easy to access. Well, that time it went. I'm getting used to that. But um, definitely the action is excellent for a left-handed person. Easy to reach the lock bar. Uh, the cutout is very nice to get to it. 
Um, and what really drew me to this knife is definitely the design. This huge pivot design kind of stuck out. It looks different compared to all the other knives out there. So definitely it was nice. It was micarta. Uh, ergonomics is great. Uh, with the left handed you definitely can feel the clip. The clip is not my favorite. I wish they would, you know, figure out that. It seems like a standard clip they have. This was also similar to the clip on the uh, the BF12. I would have to say the clip on the BF16 is probably my favorite. Definitely low profile. I'm not going to stick up. It's not going to have that deep indent and then that high tip there at the front. So and all that. So this also being that it doesn't inset, it definitely rise a little bit higher. Uh, they put jimping on the spine. Um, and I know people will complain that the, the choil for sharpening might not be that, you know, some will say, oh, it needs to be larger so you can have a better sharpening edge when you're sharpening. Um, I am new to knives in some sense, so I'll let you know <laughs> what my feelings are on the choil with sharpening, but right now this thing came very sharp out of the box. Uh, I've caught my knuckle several times uh, releasing it. The, uh, the release definitely drops, closes very nicely, and again, whoop, that time it didn't. It's a little bit stiff, a little not as smooth. It depends on how you get it. That that first time I got it where it didn't flip out all the way, I didn't have a good clip on the uh, on the clip flipper. Uh, what else do I want to tell you guys about that? Really, that is about it. I mean, let me give you some comparisons to some other knives. Um, I'll start off with this is the the Rook. PF, PF801, as you can see, it's definitely smaller than that. And then, of course, I guess this is a standard of knife people, is the QSP. So the QSP is definitely smaller than the, than the uh, Komodo. And then to compare the two other pack knives I have, this is the uh, BF12, and then this is definitely... In, a lot longer profile there and then the uh, BF16 so those are your comparisons there so it kind of fits right in between the the BF16 and the the BF12 and they've also came out with a couple other micarta handle knives but they are not reverse clip they are just purely right-handed clip so not going to purchase those just for the fact that it is an you know they're not going to be southpaw friendly so but i definitely wanted to get this one hoping they will have other ones with uh, that are going to be with the reverse clip uh, definitely hope you guys enjoyed this review hope it gives you a good idea you got to be able to see it definitely has a you know drops pretty well from the uh, once you release the locking bar uh, this knife has not been broken down, it has not been cleaned, and as I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a video of breaking this down, cleaning it up, and reversing the clip on this. So hey guys, if you if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, um, definitely share it with other people, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell for notification, so when I do drop other videos with a Southpaw perspective, you guys will be first to know. So, hey, have a great one, and thanks for watching.